In this video, I'm asking Tom Kelly of Be Safe if implementing an organic lawn care program within our business will have an effect on the amount of fertilizer that we need to put down, the color of the turf, and the amount of water that we need to apply. So listen to his response and my interaction with him. So if you're able to cut back, so a couple of things come to mind when you say we're able to cut back on the amount of fertilizer we're applying. Um, are we going to continue to see the the green effect? Are we going to see continue to see the thickness and the greenness in the lawn that a chemical lawn would see? Yeah, and again, this is where it, it takes a while. It's taken sure. me years. Is you're not thinking in terms of pounds of N per thousand square feet anymore. Okay. You know, it's not like okay, you know, okay, I need to get three quarters of a pound. Uh, of nitrogen now and especially you know with you guys too and deeper in the south where you're dealing with bermuda grass or you know yep. uh, warm season turf grasses it you know you need a lot of nitrogen so it's, it can be a challenge to find it but it's just that water soluble chemical nitrogen that gives you that quick roller coaster ride where yep. you, know, you get that nuclear green for two weeks and then it goes away um i guess you don't lose anything in terms of 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 quality but you know the Truth be told, you know that nuclear green I just talked about that you see in, in early spring on, on some of the chemical lawns? Right. That might be a thing of the past, where it, it almost looks unnatural. You know, right. you, can see, you probably see it from an airplane, uh, the glow. So yeah. you, you may lose that a little bit, but in terms of, of even color and dark color, a lot of that depends on the grass types to begin with. But you're not giving up a lot because you're changing your pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet. So one thing about putting less fertilizer down, if you're a maintenance company and you're mowing, you don't get quite the surge. And I know through the the uh, slow release, you can eliminate some of the surge, but you don't get quite the surge, which is a nightmare for a maintenance company. You guys come down, you're, you're, you're the same company, or your fertilizer company precedes you. They put down fertilizer, trying to get the thing as green and thick as they can, and their goal is completely opposed to the maintenance company that's got to come in and mow the lawn behind them. And then, and even if they're mowing it weekly, there's so much top growth that it's a nightmare. And so uh, being able to maintain the greenness while at the same time not having to put down the fertilizer is, am I thinking in the right direction? Would it slow, would it mean less speed in the way of growth or would it, would an organic lawn grow? I, I now realize the organic lawn is going to be as green, probably, but will the organic lawn grow as fast as a lawn where you're constantly dumping fertilizer, or would you see a little bit of a pullback in the way of growth? You sound like you've been on a mowing crew in April. <laughs> I, I have. I know the business, so I know. I know all the pains <laughs> that come with it. <laughs> the fight as a result. Yes. Yeah. Put it this way: um, the first application in, in the organic program that we implement does not even contain a fertilizer. And, and when you clear the slate a little bit and think about it, of all the times in the course of a year where it probably doesn't make sense to apply a, a, a fertilizer is the spring. You know, when the, the turf is as green as it's probably going to be naturally, mm -hmm. it's using stored energy from, from the previous year. And it just doesn't make sense. You know, those days of spraying the 4600 and, and just making, you, you can look at the grass and, and watch it grow. Right. And really, you know, tick off the maintenance crews. That's true. I mean, I think what you were getting at is, is in an organic lawn, you do slow growth down a lot. You don't have the roller coaster ride. What we try to do is follow the, the genetic patterns of, of the turf grass. So, so in the north, if you're dealing with a, a, a cool season turf grass, like a, a bluegrass, ryegrass mix, Genetically speaking, that grass doesn't want to be fertilized unless it's late spring or early fall. And we've forced it, we've forced fertilizer on it through our chemical programs over the years to create artificial growth. Mm. Our, as a result of that artificial growth, you're, you're really making the mowing crews mad for one thing. Mm -hmm. um, you're creating disease activity. You know, surge growth is creating stress. When the mowing crew is out there and, it, you know, they're, 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 you know, cutting it, you know, three ways to make sure they're getting all the clippings up. They're really stressing the grass out. That creates problems a week from that event. Right. You know what I mean? So you have to you have to follow, genetically speaking, when that particular species wants to be fertilized. It's different for different types, but you, you just aren't going to force unnatural growth with organics. And the color is, is just as good. It really is. That's a big deal. What about water? So I'm, my hunch is that if I'm 
putting down less fertilizer, then I'm probably and uh, I'm probably able to cut back on watering a bit, or am I off base there? Yeah, no, you're right there, too. Okay. Uh, the funny thing is that, and again, this is sort of a geographical issue, but yeah. I think most turf professionals would agree that we, we cause more issues as a result of overwatering than underwatering. I mean, we just, we, it's weird how people don't understand how to use an irrigation system. Right. You know? Yeah, we so, struggle in our market with getting our clients to understand that the, the less frequent, deeper waterings that you rotate through your zones, and again, we're in the south, are just so much more effective than this craziness we see of five minutes every day, seven days a week, or, <laughs> right. or 30 minutes a day, seven days a week, or whatever the number is. And um, so water education is a big deal. And, and actually, from my perspective, anything we can educate our client on or teach the client and show them that hey we can save you money on your watering bill and conserve there as well that's a that's a selling point that's another point of differentiation as a company 